In this lesson, we will talk about the history of HTML and how it all began. You may think, ok, this is boring. Shall we start with the practical coding or should I quit this tutorial lesson? I know that history is boring to someone, but think this way. What kind of web developer you will be if you don't know the history of HTML? And someday, if you say I'm pro in HTML, and if they ask you something about the history of HTML and you don't know it, then that doesn't make you a pro. So let's go. It all began in 1989, when physicist Tim Berners-Lee wrote a memo proposing an internet-based hypertext system. In 1990, Tim wrote specified HTML and wrote the first browser and the first server. The first publicity available description of the HTML was a document called HTML Tags, first mentioned by Tim in 1991. It described 80 elements, 11 of them still exist in HTML4. On November 24, 1995, HTML version 2.0 was published and until August 1996 was updated with few other features like form-based file upload, tables and client-side image maps. In September 1996, the Internet Engineering Task Force, also known as IETF, which started the HTML, had closed its HTML working group, and then the W3C, the World Wide Web Consortium, took place and on January 1997, HTML 3.2 was published as W3C recommendation. It was the first version ever developed and standardized by the World Wide Web Consortium. The HTML 3.2 had the codename Wilbur and the new feature included Matt Formulas. Later on, in December 1997, HTML4 was published as W3C recommendation, which included three variations. Strict, in which deprecated elements were forbidden, Transitional, in which deprecated elements were allowed, and frame set in which mostly only frame related elements were allowed. Then in April, HTML 4.0 was updated with minor changes, without incrementing the version number. In December 1999, HTML 4.01 was published as W3C recommendation giving the same three variations as HTML 4.0. And the last update for HTML 4.01 was in May 12, 2001. The new beginning and real power began in January 2008, when W3C published a working draft of the new version of HTML, known as HTML5. In May, 2011, the World Wide Web Consortium advanced HTML5 to last call, which meant that HTML5 will soon become W3C recommendation, and so that web developers and the author community prepares for the arrival. And then it happened. In 2012, the World Wide Web Consortium published HTML5 as candidate recommendation. They also released a plan called Plan 2014, in which they proposed to release a stable HTML5 recommendation by the end of 2014, and an HTML5.1 recommendation by the end of 2016. So that's all for the history of HTML. It was short history and easy to learn. In the next lesson, we will see what is HTML5 and how much is improved.